Hi, this is PJ from Digital Mod. I'm just shooting a short video on how to freelance while traveling around the world. The first point I'd like to cover with you is to quite simply bring a reliable laptop. Now, Macs are generally the easiest. It's a, probably one of the best built brands out there. And, and they also have the benefit of coming with um, travel adapters that you can easily change depending on which country you go to. And on top of that, they have access to um, a lot of international service centers, which allows you to um, get help quickly in case anything happens. Two, have money before you go. Now, ideally, you want to make sure that you have most of the money that you need so that you don't need to rely on uh, for your freelance income. And uh, most importantly, so that you can have fun when you're out traveling. You don't want to be in a situation where you have to work and there's an event you want to uh, see and you can't do it because you quite simply need to make money. Three, pick places with uh, reliable internet. Basically countries with uh, good infrastructure. So um, a lot of countries in Africa in particular might not be good fits. Ideally you want to uh, pick places that has internet, so um, for instance apartments or hotels that has um, a free Wi-Fi system. Ideally broadband access, quite simply because it's faster uh, for people that are working with uh, video in particular. And this is important to get right and when you're out traveling it's important that you get backups. There are two types I like to recommend, uh, USB modem which you just plug in on the side of your laptop and smartphones. Smartphones tend to have the abil ability to um, be used as a modem. If you have, have both and manage to get alternatives in, in each country that you go to by just switching the SIM card, then uh, you should be able to offer more than enough reliability for your clients. Four, create templates. Now this is important to do so that um, you are efficient when you are traveling and don't have to spend a lot of time getting work. I would suggest that you try to get, uh, try to create templates for your most typical assignments and um, in particular try to create uh, templates for your initial questionnaires. Ideally you should create enough questions for you to understand the most typical assignments through your questionnaires. Um, one to two pages should be enough so that you can reduce the time that you spend in um, understanding and also reduce the time that you spend um, communicating with clients. You don't want to have to um, go back and forth with a lot of emails and have to um, basically um, be available, be beside a laptop when you want to be out traveling. The benefit of uh, using templates is also that it, you can use it to uh, reduce the time that you spend applying and it gives you some predictability. Five, get uh, one to two big projects before you go. This can be really good for your stress levels so that you can have some predictability and it, it can also make it easy for you to plan if you have an understanding of uh, what the needs of the clients are. So you can uh, put it in uh, which other projects you might have in mind uh, while you're out on the road. Six, rent places for a few months. This can be a really simple method of um, saving on your travel costs. For instance, uh, renting an apartment for a couple of months. And it also reduces your work costs because um, you can spend less on uh, having internet backups and um, reduces the time of the, the workspace, it reduces the cost of the workspace. I would also suggest that you try to pick uh, travel destinations that are central. And uh, by that I mean, for instance, um, in Europe, you could uh, pick a, a place in Germany and be relatively close to Switzerland, relatively close to France, so that um, you could have a hub, basically, to go back and front too. And uh, finally, point seven, 
do warm travel projects. This lets you engage on the trip differently. For instance, if you're asked to um, create a travel article, then you can include pictures that uh, you have just taken. Let's say, for instance, if you are in Prague in the Czech Republic, and it's about writing 500 words on um, on uh, basically street life in uh, Prague, then you can bring your own pictures, which will um, definitely impress clients and give you good testimonials. It can also be a good uh, reason to increase your rates because it allows you to um, add more value to your clients without increasing your cost. It's just you're there and you can take advantage of it. And um, you can also use a travel project that you have done as a possible uh, tax deduction because uh, you spend time going to where you decided to have your holiday and uh, because um, you made money during the trip then um, whatever travel airfare hotels and all that becomes a uh, necessary expense that you had in order to make the uh, the money you made freelancing okay uh, that's about it if you like to see more videos like this just go to digitalmind.com